Hi, I'm Verna Lawton and I'm a visual artist from Waterford. I'm based here in Faithleg in my studio. I can conduct private classes or I can paint in my favourite mediums, which tend to be oil, acrylic and watercolour. Not in any order, I tend to like them all. Uh, originally I'm from Tremor, so the sea would feature pretty frequently in my work. And the fact that I live in the middle of the countryside, I also tend to love painting meadows and trees and generally I'm a, a nature lover. And uh, the other thing I really find fascinating that I paint with is um, the divine feminine, as I call it. And that includes ten, mostly uh, Irish goddesses, fairies. They could be iconic women from the silver screen, even more modern, like Marilyn Monroe. Not so modern, but not silver screen. Um, I love to paint... Uh, the likes of Sinead O'Connor and um, Blondie. When I'm actually working on my iconic women series or my mid divine feminine, sometimes say in a fairy's dress, I might um, incorporate some gold or some jewels or even some butterfly wings that I might find lying around outside on the deck or wildflowers, dried wildflowers. I like to incorporate these kind of things into the my divine feminine just to just the embellishment and just to include a little bit of nature as well and make it even more personal for, for people. They can request little bits and pieces that they might like as well. Um, I tend to use very vibrant colors, just part of my personality, I guess. I just, I love gold. Gustav Klimt would be one of my big inspirations. And um, I just hope that I can just keep on going and it's a, it's, it's a delight to be able to have, you know, this kind of life where I have a studio and I have some private classes and it's just great to just keep on going even in these tough times. I, I love to I love to do a commission for someone that I know they'll just put in their house and it'll evoke some kind of memory for them and uh, or make them feel calm and happy or whatever. It's just really nice and fulfilling to have done a bit of work that somebody actually really enjoys viewing. So that'll keep me spurred on. I have had two major solo shows, one in Greyfriars a few years ago, which did really well. It was, um, it was lovely and I, I was actually renting a house while the studio was being built and I thought that um, I'd have the studio to paint my roughly 40, 50 paintings, but it turned out I did it in the kitchen in, in the little house in Tremor because this studio wasn't ready. So it's amazing what you can actually produce when you want to. And the other one was in the vintage tea rooms and uh, that was just a, just very lately and it was um, it was really fun and it was uh, a good success I'm happy to say. I'd like to say I'm really delighted to be in Waterford's Imagine Arts Festival this year. It's, um, it's a real honour to be a part of it and it's an unusual time but I admire everybody for their ingenuity and in trying to get it out there just as hopefully it'll just be as good and successful as it has been in the last 19 years.